Salut tout le monde. Hello. Bonjour. Nakwana. Everybody. Uh, it's good to be here again. And I promised I was going to drop a video today. I don't want to waste too much of your time. I just wanted to ask comment ça va. Est-ce que ça passe bien? And how is life with you? Thank you for all the messages and questions. I'm going to um answer a bit of them in this video i'll be doing a reintroduction of myself and then i'll answer some of the questions and then um just a little bit more information so i'll try not to ramble on too long and straight to it alizi so let's go to the quick introduction my names are adebukola olajumoke those are my two names that my parents gave to me aside from my son name so on my page you see kiki Olajumoke, Olajumoke, Kiki. The Kiki is a diminutive of uh, Adebukola Buki, so Kiki, you know, and Olajumoke. But then also in our African cultures, you know, Yoruba culture, we have what they call praise name. Mine is by Oriki, is uh, Ashani. So in some of my social media accounts, I use uh, Ashani. You know, it means uh, something that is difficult to have and to find that's you know so i use it so i'm telling you this because i might make some changes on my page name changes and things like that but you shouldn't be worried because it's all um you know just a part of trying to get better and as you know come vous savez c'est pas la perfection on cherche pas la perfection we're not trying to be perfect we're just trying to get the job done to push out uh, value and to help as many people that are that have a need in the area in which i am so that's why so introduction for those that are just like kind of getting to know me for the first time and maybe i didn't really ex you know explain so much um th those are my names um i was a student of french for four years in nigeria uh, in lagos and then i went on to teach french i got married uh, i was living in the north i was teaching in a secondary school for several years teaching french and i always desired to come to france to you know to even you know because when you study a language of course you're going to watch videos you're going to listen to radios clips but you desire to even go to the place where you know you're actually speaking the language and all so that was always my desire i didn't know how it was going to happen so an opportunity came up while i was working i went for teacher training programs i came back you know i went i went and came several times and i've shared with you in the past that it was through that that i like oh there's an opportunity i'm sure there's so many people that would love that too so there was something that happened that actually made my coming to France for longer term. What happened was that I lost my spouse. I lost my husband uh, in an accident. And that was like the slap that woke me up and told me that, okay, now you have to plan for your master degree in France. That was in 2015. It, this is the seventh year, you know, it's difficult to share, but this is the seventh year. So I think it's about time I spoke out about this to let you know that sometimes there's some things that might just happen that will push you into you know what you've been keeping in your heart for a long so that was my own that was my wake up call it was like a slab that woke me up like girl it's time it's a layer of the party you know so that's how i started planning the event happened in 2015. it took me two years to plan for a trip to do my math to to plan for my master degree apply to the school uh, apply for the language program um, arrange the visas, get approvals here and there. It was quite challenging. It took me two years. So in 2017, on the 15th of August, I can never forget, I came into France with my three kids. I came into France with my three kids and immediately started school. And my kids also started school. They had not been speaking French before. They were not familiar with French at all. I was just a teacher. I knew the theory about French you know so that's why i told you that when i came even as a french teacher having studied french in university i still went in for language training and it took me longer than what i thought i thought i would come in do one semester of language training and then i'll go straight in for my masters it didn't work out that way so that's just a little bit about me now um now i'm very appreciative of all the um support you guys encouragement i read all the messages and i try to respond to all of them uh, I, would, I want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and uh, as you know as I'm still on this job search I'm kind of keeping myself busy by sharing all this uh, information that I have so on my page if you go to my uh, YouTube page you see that um, I've changed some things and in the future there will be some little tweaks here and there till I get everything right 
but the major thing I would like to focus on is that, and since I've been getting lots of questions and emails about that, is uh, the French language immersion program. That is what I am trying to pass across to you guys. Those of you I've advised you before that if you're coming into France or anything, even if you're studying in English, it's a good thing for you to come in for language first. And that's what I offer. And the package that was um, designed me and uh, the school, um, Kavilam, the package we designed, the price is excellent. And you cannot even find it. You can't find it on your own. So you can only get it through. It's a package, it's a program designed by me and this school. And you're going to live with a French family, like I told you. And they will also give you all the documents you need to go confidently to the embassy, showing them, oh, this is where I'm staying. This is the program I'm registered in. And then you can apply for your visa and things like that. So that's what I encourage people because I did it too. You know, I stayed with a family. I have the experience, so I know what I'm talking about. And this is the best. I've done research and I've tried to find the best I could get. So in terms of price, this is the best. And you know, and that's how you can really immerse yourself in the language. And, and then second point on my page, you see that I want to assist you with your tourism, study and cultural experience connect. What I mean is that you're coming to France, you have, you don't know anybody, you don't know anything about, you just know that, okay, you can come to France and see the Tour Eiffel. We, oui. yeah. And France is not just Paris, by the way. You know, there's a whole world out. It's like going to Nigeria and only going to Lagos. You missed out Abuja, you missed out Enugu, you missed out, you know, other parts of Nigeria that are also nice. So let me be your coach your French auntie in France that will give you, oh, don't do this, go like this. Or in the case where you're trying to organize a, you want to have a nice time and you don't want to spend crazy because you don't know anything, you know, people will try to, maybe, will try to, you know, rip you off and stuff like that. So this is where I come in. I can communicate with, uh, if you're looking for a talk, arrange the right kind of, um, a service for you connect because sometimes if you're even though they say oh they understand English sometimes they don't really get your full message so I can be your connect so that's why you should book me like you know and then the third thing I want to service I would love to offer you guys is you know to facilitate like if you can't come to France right now and going to Alliance Frances in Nigeria I understand that the challenges are much but I know that some of you would prefer to have a French teacher a French person in France, you know, coming on to your doing a Zoom call or doing lessons for your pronunciation and things like that. you want a French friend, I can be the one to search out the right teacher for you and connect you. So that's the kind of service. See me as your French coach, your your coming to France coach. Okay, I will try to connect you to the right setup for what you need. If it's tourism, you're coming for a culture experience, I connect you to the right source. If you're looking for study schools and stuff like that and you know this you know i know that campus france does uh, the official stuff for you to come to france on school but there's a whole life aside from your admission there's other things that you need to survive while you are in france I, that's where i would love to come in and i would love to be uh, of assistance so that's if you see on my page right now that's what i kind of you know uh i changed i tried to I like these three points so that is where i would love to come in and if you think you need help just book me let's make let's make contact and let's talk in depth so that you won't you know spend carelessly or you won't just although that's part of the experience of being a tourist or being a, a foreigner somewhere you make mistakes you find your way and stuff like that but where you can avoid you know that's why i'm here Finally, I just like to um, go through some of the comments and then um, questions that I got, a few of them. And first of all, I want to thank you guys so much for taking your time. And um, you can always contact me. The best way and surest way is to contact me on my email address, which is kikilabiju arubas, that's at gmail com that's how you can reach me send me an email you know sometimes when people uh chat up on social media sometimes people some people are not really ready to you know go the full you know so they just engage you in talk in chat so but people that send me emails i know that yes someone that will take their time open email you know are really ready to take action so i i value all comments anyway but emails i really try to see to you that i get, get give you value and you know answer you as honestly as possible 
I know. Um, I just want to shout out to Anita. Well done. Somebody already um, took a step on the assistant the long how to come into France. She made an application for it. Congratulations. I'm glad you're taking a step and that's, that's great for you. You just have to, what I will tell you that after applying for your assistant the long, uh, try to follow up with emails and calls in Nigeria. The contact that is on that page use it please use it please you don't relax at all so that you get results and it work with your it work with your uh timing and every, and everything but i didn't understand your second question anita but you know you can chat me and let me know um then someone was asking me and i've got this question once or twice that can you come to france with your children yes absolutely you can i did it i came to france with my kids well, you know, you really have to plan. And before I came, like a year ahead, I'd already been calling schools. I already knew the area I wanted to stay in. Accommodation, schools closest to the house. How does it work in France? Private school, you know, things like that. So you have to start making the contact now. You know, I want to assume that um, uh, someone that's coming with the family can speak French. You, you yourself already can speak French, but I'm not sure. But even if not, it's not a problem. But... If you want more in-depth coaching, please, you know, send me an email. So let's know what we can do. I know when it comes to things like sports, I don't really know about coming to France. I have no idea. I can only tell about teaching and language because that's what I know. Um, then uh, somebody was speaking about... Um, You know coming to yeah i want to get off those that are interested in the language immersion program send me an email and let's work something out as quickly as possible the worst thing the last thing you want to do is look back on your life and wonder like if i tried that thing then i mean what would have happened just try you know and those if you're not ready if you, if you feel you're not able to come over yet um, that you know financially and things like that start by getting a teacher if you want a, con a connect for a french teacher here in france send me an email to and start the whole journey by brushing up on the language i know that um things sometimes when you look around you it may not look like what you are planning for but i can tell you that if you if you keep it in your heart and keep on in little ways keep on working towards it somehow the opportunity will present itself because it knows that you're ready so just take that as my my little bit of encouragement you know i know what it is to carry a dream in your heart i'm not even knowing like it doesn't even look like it's close i know what it means so if i tell you it can be possible let's let's just try to do something and i'm here to help you make it work okay and in conclusion guys please i need you to let me know what you'd like me to talk about but in my head what i'm planning for is to do a little video on what kinds of um, things you can do to earn money while in france i have an idea of what you know maybe little things that i have done that have helped me while i'm here then i'd also like to do a short video on um, going to the french uh, applying for your visa online i want to go and let's open the page together and let's go through it and let's see the requirements and what they mean for those that want to start i would also like to talk about um if you're a student coming the kind of things you want to prepare in advance for how i can help uh then also as a parent or a family or maybe like a mother that wants to come with a child what kind of things you have to prepare for I, I want to do a video on that so and then there's one more thing i want to ask from you guys do you guys um would you like to see my you know if you like to see my ups and my downs and how i go about my day in france uh, i have a tiktok um uh channel uh, let me know if you want me to post it so that you guys can follow and just see how we go about when we are crying when we are laughing if you want to see that aspect um, I, will, I will you can follow me let me know if you want me to put up my TikTok and then um, I would like to do a video on loneliness <laughs> in the abroad <laughs> you know and how to you know make friends and try and get into the social life here so with all these things i've said just let me know the ones that interest you put them in the comments and then i'll know how to prepare myself you know like now i want to try to make a video every week you know 
きます。Oui. Vive. <laughs> C'est la vie. C'est la vie. You know, life happens, but、uh, on se débrouille. D'accord?、Euh, je vous souhaite bonne journée et on dirait à bientôt. À bientôt. Bisous. <musique>